starting from September 27 when the Azerbaijani-Turkish tandem attacked Artsakh, then shelling settlements and infrastructure of the Republic of Armenia, no less heated battles broke out in the information field. The main flow of misinformation was a result of the enemy's militant propaganda machine, but in the process, intentional or unverified information was thrown into the field by foreign mass media covering the war as well. The journalist of Russian Dosh TV channel, who tried to cover the battles on the artsakh azerbaijani line of contact from both sides of the conflict, did not refrain from misinformation either. A few days ago, this TV channel aired a report telling that the Azeri Ter Ter was being shelled from Artsakh side, meanwhile showing the footage of Artsakh capital Stepanakert, which was being shelled by the enemy with different weapons from the very beginning of the military actions. This misinformation of Dosh TV channel was reported by various mass media and telegram channels. It is difficult to say whether this misinformation was an intentional one or it was just a confusion, especially when this media outlet gives one-sided, often directed, anti-Armenian information from the very beginning of the war. Armenian users of telegram demanded that the people in charge of Dosh TV channel be held responsible for their unconscientious work and that its correspondence be expelled from Artsakh. Under the pressure, Dosh TV channel hurried up to apologize for, as they put it, the mistake. I have to start the issue with reputation. Today, during the airing of Dosh, a mistake was recorded. During a report of one of our correspondents telling about the state of affairs in Azerbaijani city of Tertar, footages of shelling in the city of Sepanakert were inserted. The thing is that one of our colleagues set into a motion a wrong video, as a result of which our viewers could think that Dosh TV channel is trying to show the state of affairs in Sepanakert as if it is happening in Tertar. However, this is not the case. The aired incident is a mistake for which we ask the viewers to accept our apologies. Starting from this point, we will be even more attentive towards what footage is being aired. The Dosh TV channel also removed the above-mentioned report from the internet. The TV channel also presented a report from Stepanakert, where a Russian woman allegedly complains that her Armenian husband was forcibly taken to war. Later, it turned out that this was yet another unsuccessful trick carried out by this TV channel. Obviously, the TV channel also provides anti-Armenian coverage with the help of its journalists in Azerbaijan. For example, Vasily Polonsky, a journalist from Dost working on the Azerbaijani side, showed live that the Armenian side allegedly started shelling during a funeral, as a result of which tombstones were damaged and there were victims. And all of this in the case when the surrounding area remained unharmed. There are numerous calls addressed to Dosh TV channel throughout the Armenian social networks to stop spreading misinformation and be adherent to the norms of professional ethics.